Well, earlier this year, when Albany approved early voting in New York State with bipartisan support, by the way, the hope was that this would increase turnout. That's right. But as we are learning now from the Erie County Board of Elections, there are some high costs that come with early voting. Channel 2's Jeff Preval has details for us. Jeff? Yeah, hi there, Scott and Mary Alice. Well, at this point, the Board of Elections here in Erie County predicts that it will spend more than $3 million to offer early voting. But the BOE does expect some of that money to be reimbursed by the state, but it's unclear exactly how much at this time. Early voting means that polling places need to be open 10 days before any future primary general election or special election. The Erie County Board of Elections says that they will have to buy new equipment, spend more to staff the polls, and on additional postage. Among the additional cost, Erie County will have to buy 30 more ballot tabulators. Because once uh, between the Sunday cutoff and the Tuesday election, there's no way to be able to um, secure those ballots, reprogram those machines. Now, during early voting, not every polling station will be open. The BOE says that one polling place will be open for each city, town, or village in the county. But in Buffalo, there will be one location in each legislative district. The BOE is looking into buying new technology that would allow people to vote at any polling station in the county. That technology also would prevent people from voting more than once. Polls and early voting will be open weekdays from noon until 9 p.m. and weekends noon until 6. I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.